G'day and welcome. I just wanted to show you how to quickly export this from SketchUp into Revit. I'm on SketchUp Pro 2017, going to be going to Revit 2019. For some reason, 2020 wasn't working, so I've downgraded. But this will work for any Revit version in future versions to come also. So let's get straight into it. All you first have to do is go to File, Save As in SketchUp. And we wanted to save this as a SketchUp version 6. What most people tend to do is go export 3D model and then this will export as a CAD file. That is too much effort. It's not going to look as good. So what we want to do is go to file. We want to save this as a SketchUp version 6 file type. That's going to save it as a .skp. All we're doing is just saving this as a SketchUp file and it's going to open in Revit. No problems. I'm going to go ahead and save that. I'm going to replace that one I've just put in there. Now I'm going to move over to Revit and what most people would usually do is then just link the CAD file that you've just created from SketchUp. However, we have saved this as just an SKP file. So what we want to do is create a mass in place before we start importing this. To do that, all we have to do is go to massing and site and go in place mass. This is not a problem. We can go ahead and not show this message again and close that. We're going to call this SketchUp import. Hit OK. Now what we can do is go to the insert tab and then link the CAD now. I'm going to go ahead and find where I saved that, which was on my desktop. And we want this to not be DWG. We want this to be a SketchUp file. And so now we can see that our SketchUp file is there. We, get, we can change the positioning of it. We can change where we're going to place it. This is all fine for me. So I'm going to go ahead and open that file. This will take a little bit of time and will depend on how big your file is in SketchUp. We get the warning that Revit cannot import some of the geometry. This is not an issue. This usually is not an issue. If you are finding issues where you cannot import your file into Revit, there is sometimes the issue where it says this family instance has too many edges, remove unnecessary geometry or split the instance into multiple instances and it can stop you from importing the SketchUp model into Revit. If you are coming across this issue or something similar that's not allowing you to import your model, make sure that your model is clean from SketchUp. So make sure that there's no unnecessary edges, make sure that all of your planes are clean and there's nothing sticking out and there's no issues with the model. In other words, make sure that your model is watertight. Make sure that it's a good model. If you have to, you might need to go back over your model in SketchUp and you know fix some of these issues. Sometimes there's just no way around that and unfortunately that's the way it is. If this has worked for you, I'm glad. I hope you have learned something useful that you can just import from SketchUp. You don't have to um, export it as a DWG and have all these issues with it. And because this is a model in place, you can change the walls from you know a mass to walls. You can change it to floors or to roofs, whatever you might want to do. And that is the easiest way to export from SketchUp to Revit. I hope you found this helpful and there you go.